back out here for day 11 of the 30 day challenge on how to improve your relationship by 3x the amount. So what you may not know about me is that I'm out here talking about this very subject and I actually struggle with this very thing myself. Hey Chandra, I see you honey. Thanks for coming. <laughs> so what you may not know about me is that I actually struggle with this very topic that I'm about to talk to you about today. And not just in my romantic relationships, I actually struggle with taking time to listen in my personal relationships. So like I told you guys before, God is still working on you, girl. But I do know what I need to do. I just have to continue to practice doing it. Now, a short story is that uh, I didn't even realize that I had a tough time listening until one of my lovely brothers actually pointed it out to me. And you know when it's family, he didn't tell me in a pleasant manner. He happened to tell me, man, you'll never listen. And I was like, oh, he aggressive. <laughs> But it made total sense. And so I'm coming to you to say that I am a work in progress. I am actually actively working on this very thing. Uh, but And it does make a difference. And so a lot of times when we're not listening... Uh, we are, or I should say, a lot of times when we are listening, we're actually listening so we can respond. We are listening so we can wait for that break, for them to take that breath, and then we're off. The race is on because we got to get in what we have to say. Yes, brothers are good at telling you straight up. I was not a happy camper, Chandra. I was not a happy camper when my brother told me that, but I did not realize that I was not really listening. I didn't realize that until he told me. And mind you, I wasn't like a, a young spring chicken. I was definitely in my late 20s or at least in my 30s. Let's say that. I, I'm definitely in my 30s. So I wasn't a spring chicken when I found out that I was not a good listener, okay? Um, <laughs> but when we do not listen, we actually miss important pieces of the puzzle. And so important pieces are lost when we are not really listening, when we are listening, listening to participate instead of listening to hear what the other person is saying. We also, uh, when we do listen, we actually reduce the misunderstanding standings in our relationship in any relationship again this particular one you can use in any relationship i know that we're talking about romantic relationships but specifically to actively listening you could active listen in every relationship that you are a part of and become um, someone that makes or creates a safe space for other people to vocalize their feelings. They're feeling like they can actually speak to you. This is really important in your romantic relationship because a lot of times your spouse is not sharing what they truly want to share, which is what is deep down in their heart to share with you because they know that you're not going to listen to what they have to say or you're going to placate them or or you're just going to do the uh-huh, uh-huh, and then they have to ask the same question two or three times to get your attention again. So they're not really listening to you or I should say you're not really listening to your partner, which is another reason why your partner is struggling to share openly their life with you because you won't close your trap yeah you won't close this right here you continuously trying to cut them off or trying to finish their sentence or just trying to add to the story instead of just relaxing sitting back and literally listening to what they have to say so he or she can feel heard so you want to create that safe space so they can vocalize their feelings to you. Another reason why you want to listen, which is specifically called active listening, is because it helps you understand your partner. And then when you're speaking, it helps your partner understand you. Literally understand where they're coming from, why they thought the way that they thought, why they did the, uh, or why I should say, why they did the very thing that they did, where they're coming from, so you can understand your spouse, your partner a lot better. It actually another thing that active listening does it is uh, it um, eliminates the blame. So instead of you blaming your partner about I did X, Y, and Z because you did this 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 thing to me first. You can really just listen, chill out, hear what they're saying, and then say, you know what? I did this because I was feeling X instead of saying, I did this because you was doing this to me. 
because that does not help the situation at all. So active listening eliminates the blame for sure. Another thing that active listening does is that it tells your partner that <clears throat> oh, those are my neighbors walking by. So anyway, it tells your partner that um, that you care about what they're saying, that you accept what they're saying, and that you are validating your partner when you are active listening to them, when you are just chilling out. It tells them that you actually care about what they have to say instead of you feeling like you need to interject your point of view to them right? So that is something else that active listening does. Another thing that it does, of course, it improves you guys' communication. Yes, of course, all of these things that you're doing, it's improving your communication simultaneously when you begin to, active listen to actively listen to your partner and they reciprocate this very act as well because you don't want it to be one-sided. They have to realize that they also have to chill out and listen as well to what you have to say so you also feel heard and the connection of course is continuously growing between the two of you the intimacy is continuously growing between the two of you and um you want to feel accepted and validated as well so i have a few suggestions on how you can actively listen to your spouse and the very first thing is to just use non-verbal sounds and movements so the movement could be you leaning in to hear what they have to say or the sounds could be like mm-hmm Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay, okay, just to let them know that you are hearing what they have to say instead of you having this blank look on your face or you're off into space or you're looking down because you're texting or playing on your phone or playing with your phone. You're doing everything but paying attention. So, it, it, so this is a way to actively listen. Again, the movement could be subtle. You're moving in. You're like leaning in because you want to hear what they have to say. And then also the, the body language as well, like where you're um, pointing your feet toward them when you're sitting. Again, leaning in. So the body language is, is another thing that you can do to let your spouse, to let your partner the, know that you are listening to them. Another thing is to, you can, um, another way to show that you are actively listening to them is to repeat back what they're saying or paraphrase what they just said to you. So you can repeat it back or paraphrase what you just heard from your spouse, what you just heard from your partner. And that way they know that you are actively listening to them. And then the final thing that I want to point out is instead of interjecting your advice or your statements just to ask open-ended questions so you can get a better understanding of what your spouse is trying to say, where they're trying to go with, with um, what they're saying, and um, it, it lets you understand exactly what's happening, what's going on, what they're trying to communicate to you, and then maybe even where they're going with this thing, like specifically if they're talking about reaching a goal or just trying to um, get through a specific thing ask some more open-ended questions. And open-ended questions, for those of you out there who don't know, are basically the questions that do not um, give a yes or no answer. That That's what open-ended questions are because you really want to hear what they say. You want to hear where they're going with their information. So, how often are you actively listening to your spouse, to your partner? Is this important important enough so you can see a drastic change on how to improve your relationship by 3x? Is this important enough for you to do more often than not? Because yes, as I just mentioned, <laughs> I get caught slipping sometimes. <laughs> but when I realize that is what I'm doing, I actually step back and listen and actively listen. I'm doing the whole body language. I'm doing the uh huh. I'm doing the paraphrasing, but I'm not interjecting my statements. Again, I'm a, I'm a work in progress, and, and it does take practice to do. But because I have, or I was, I should say, I was interjecting and um, finishing people's statements and adding my own advice and not really letting the person just explain and express what they needed to express. I was missing a lot of the information, and what I realize is this, if you just kind of chill out <laughs> and let the person get their point across, they will actually answer most of the questions that you are going to ask them anyway. 
So if you just be quiet and chill out and let them express themselves, let them feel heard, then they will get to, if not all of your questions, they will get to most of them, sis. They will get to most of them, bruh. You just got to chill out. Let them explain themselves to you and express fully what they're trying to say. And then you guys can converse back and forth about specific topic that they're trying to convey to you. So now what are you going to do? This is always the action step. We got to do some action steps. What are you going to do today to make sure that your partner feels heard? What can you do today? What can you do today to make sure that your partner actually feels heard without you interjecting your statements, without you interject, interjecting your advice? Ask some more open-ended questions. There are a plethora of things that you can do to actively listen to your partner. Is this important, important enough for you to do in order to improve your relationship by three times? Yeah, think about it. Now do it.